They're our. Do you know what this is? It's actually a paintbrush. But to confuse you even more, listen to this. It's a paintbrush made out of metal. The German artist Joachim Matz uses this to paint pictures with metal. Now, it's not the first time that pictures have been created out of metal, but his method of doing it is unique. He calls it metallurgical pointillism. And here's how he does it. Alexander Plotz in Berlin. The Mercedes SLS. Pictures painted in metal on metal. An electrode serves as a brush. And this is the man who developed the technique, artist Joachim Matz. He's worked with metal since 1970, welding sculptures, furnitures, and pieces to order. But in the early 1990s, he was looking for a new challenge. A journalist once said to me, the only thing you probably can't do with metal is paint pictures. The very next day, I began to research and think about how I might be able to create a metal painting. The painting was the goal. Matze's studio is in a village in Brandenburg State, not far from Berlin's western borders. Here, he's worked for years on ways of painting with metals. At first, there were a lot of setbacks. The metal wouldn't stick to the steel plates he was using as canvases. I've kept one failure in my studio for many years as a reminder. It didn't work at all. You can see how the metal flakes off. Mats experimented and kept changing his approach. The breakthrough came by accident. While I was making another piece, as I was welding, a steel particle became firmly stuck to my wedding ring. Right then I knew that was it. It was more or less how I had to do it. Only the other way around. Gold would get stuck onto or in stainless steel. Goldsmith Wolfgang Hasselkus makes gold and platinum alloys specially for Mats. The composition has to be just right. Only then can he get the metals in the tints and shades he wants. It's very important that the metal rod be rolled out to just the right thickness. In this case, it's perfect. He welds the metal alloys one dot at a time. The precious metals come last. Welding is dangerous, but Joachim Matz has to work without protective goggles so he can see where he places the electrode. He's burned his eyes several times. Now he's found his own way of protecting them. The moment I make contact, an electric arc is produced. So at every touch, I close my eyes. He produces the final colors with a gas welding torch. After decades of experimentation, Joachim Matz now knows how long he has to heat the metals. People always associate metal with coldness and with weight. I've tried to oppose that image by creating objects that radiate warmth. His work is currently on show in Potsdam, and a solo exhibition in the Portuguese town of Portimao is planned for the summer. Customers such as Mercedes commission him to immortalize their most exclusive models in metal. His works cost up to 50,000 euros. And painting with metal has an advantageous side effect. The coloration is impossible to copy. So, every picture is guaranteed one of a kind. <laughs>